The first session of this year's state track and field meet produced one area champion, Fairfield's Landon Koiker in the 3A boys high jump. It feels amazing. I mean, knowing you're up at the top of all the lists of state champs and knowing that I could go out there and put a good jump together and just call myself a state champion. It feels amazing. Uh, my parents are over there and I have some grandparents and some aunts and uncles and I just went over there, gave everyone a hug, high fives all around. It's just a great feeling knowing that I can jump out here in front of all my supporters, my family, my coaches, just everyone here supporting me. It was a great feeling. EBF's Kalen Walker coming at you in lane two right here. Not only qualified for the final in the 100 meter dash in 2A, he had the best qualifying time of anyone in 2A in the event. Walker also qualified for the 200 meter final on Saturday. Speaking of the 200 meters, on the girls' side in Class 2A, Davis County's Alyssa Shirky coming at you in lane four would win her heat qualifying fourth overall for the final in the 200. However, she would fail to qualify in the 100-meter dash this year, so only one event coming up on Saturday for the Mustangs' Alyssa Shirky. And finally, a good day for Carter Heiser of Oskaloosa, surprising some people. Lane 8 in his section of the 3A boys 400-meter dash. He runs away from the field to win the section, ending up with a fourth-place overall finish.